So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And here we have Roma against Chelsea. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Roma shape up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. We're underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, I think if we're hoping for something special, then it could come from Pedro. Uh, he may not offer much in the way of finesse, but he's very efficient, a good decision maker, and a strong member of this lineup. So look out for him. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Out to the flank. Lovely little display of skill, that is. Can he deliver? Pedro shapes the shoots. Bakayoko. Stroop. Maingalan. De Rossi. Stroop. El Sharawi. Tries to stroke it through, shoots! And he's done it! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Chelsea didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? And the weighted pass, uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Forward it goes. Roma making the ideal start, it is something to build on. What a good start to the game, I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent, they've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Cahill plays it forward, Hazard with the ball through, now here's the through ball. Florenzi. Dzeko passes it through, and it's Florenzi. So what now? Stru Lovely bit of skill. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. A real chance to break. Morata plays it out to the flank. 
Pedro has it in a wide position, so what next? Strip. Tries to get it forward quickly. Kolarov. Forward it goes. Off. Dzeko spreads it towards the left. Ball is over the line. Hoists it up for the header! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Ditch defending, but that'll do. It's a brilliant interception. Hit long and direct. It's Morata! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Morata fully deserves the plaudits for setting up the chance. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Bakayoko. Morata. Lobs it in gently. Dinked in. Now it's Dzeko. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. And it's Azar. Morata, not easily shrugged off the ball. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Now the pass. Dzeko looking to get on the end of this. By Ingolan. There are a few waiting for it. A big chance! Fair effort, he reacted well. Chelsea can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Sharawi tries lifting it over. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was a breach. Is it in? Pedro clearly became one eyed then. He just decided to force it. And it's the whistle for half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Roma head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Second half gets on the way. Roma carry a one-goal lead into the second half. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. 
Tries to dink it. Great leap! It's anyone's ball. Strip. Al-Sharawi. Aimed long and direct. Morata. Long and high towards the flank. Going through. Hazard. Juan goes looking. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Great ball. Now the shot. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Al Sharawi goes on a charge down the left. Tries a through ball. Al Sharawi, time to deliver. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Strip. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. And it's Dzeko. Just brushed off the ball there. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Pedro. Pedro. And a header! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Strip. Sergio, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. He's got away. Kolarov drives it in. And he just whacks it away. Breaks on here. Rudiger. David Luiz. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. That's a throw. Finally checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Petro plays a clever pass. Batshuayi beats the... Massive leap! Glorious from Azar! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Chelsea grabbed the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Nyingalan. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Florenzi. Played into the middle. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Kolarov gathers from the goal kick. And it's Dzeko. Oh, sweet feet from him there. Looks to clip it forward. Roma merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Good challenge, he just stood firm. 
The referee's awarded a free kick. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Dzeko goes long, done very well to intervene. Roma showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. William, Conte, five minutes left on the clock. Hazard, he's looking up for options on the left, gets the chance to cross. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. William picks it up from the goal kick. And it's Batshuayi. He's in! Has a hit! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Marcus Alonso just couldn't steer it on target. Everything else was, was up there. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Kolarov. William gets it back. Looks to dink one in. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. And that's that. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Roma, well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning, it's honours even and no complaints. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.